Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kirby Yogi. I am Jakita, and today is day number four of our 30 days of yoga challenge. And today we will be working on a simple standing balance practice. And we'll be working on a walking balance as well as tree pose. So all you need today is your yoga mat. So go ahead and grab that and we'll get started. So we're going to start at the back of the mat in our mountain pose. So go ahead and have your feet parallel to one another with the toes. Make sure the ball and heel are planted down on the mat. Maybe you have to lift the arches a little bit and then replace the toes down. Roll your shoulders up and back as you stand tall, hands down by your side. Let's start with our three deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. From here, we're going to do a walking balance to get to the top of the mat. So you can start with your hands and your hips, and that's just to help you with a little bit of stability. So we'll start by standing on the left leg. So shift your weight over to your left foot. You can start by lifting your right heel. What we're going to do is lift the right knee, and you'll have the leg in the shape of an uh, upside down L, so at a right angle. You can flex the foot here. And if you want to put your arms any other way to help you balance, maybe out or up, you can do that as well. Breathe. And then start to expand that leg forward. And go ahead and step forward. So we're not taking a big step, just a small step. Forward. If you have longer legs, consider taking a smaller step. And then shift your weight to your right foot, so lifting that back heel. Once you feel grounded in that right foot, you can lift the left knee up and flex in that left foot. Hold here and breathe. And it's okay if you feel like you're wobbling, if your feet come down to the mat a couple of times. You remember that this is a practice, we're not perfect. And then go ahead and extend that left leg out. And step forward. Come onto the ball of that right foot, shifting your weight to your left leg. We're going to lift the right knee one more time. And hold here. Breathe. Extend that right leg. And step forward. Come onto the ball of the left foot, shifting your weight to your right leg. We're going to go ahead and lift that left knee. Hold here. And then extend the left leg. And step forward. You should be at the top of your mat. You may be off a little bit. That's okay. And then we're just going to come to stand in the middle of the mat. And I'm going to face you all. So we're going to work on tree pose, which is another balance pose. So just like we balanced on one foot walking forward, we're just going to balance in a standing position this time. 
So I'm going to start on my left leg and this is probably going to be your right if you want to mirror what I'm doing. So lifting your right heel, shifting your weight to your left leg. And we're going to start with, we're going to kind of progress for our tree pose. And you can start by putting your right heel onto the left leg or your left heel onto the right leg, whichever one you're using right now. And this can be your tree pose. This can be your balance pose right here. And while you're here, it's good to work on keeping the ball and the heel pressed down and lifting yourself up. You see that lift when I did that? And that'll help you in your balance. So this is your first tree pose. The second, you can put your foot on your shin, the inside of your left shin or your right shin, whichever one you're on right now. And keep that right knee out to the side. Again, you can choose what you want to do with your arms. And if you need to come down, you can at any time. Remember, this is your practice. So whatever works for you in this moment, that's what you want to do. And then come down. And the third progression for this pose is to bring the foot up to the inside of your inner thigh. Now this one is a challenge for me. So I love to either have my ankle resting on the other leg or I like to have it by the shin. So actually getting that foot to my inner thigh is a challenge. So if you want to try that, you can try that at, that at this time. And I'm just going to stick with my shin. Take a breath here. Keep that right knee out to the side. That may be a challenge for you. Play with your arms. If you find it's better to balance with your arms out or maybe up. We always say that when we put our arms up, we're growing our tree. So just think about having those roots in your, or think about your left foot being the root in the ground. And your right leg is a branch. And then go ahead and release, shake that out. And we're gonna move to the other side. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. My right side and my right leg is usually my better side. And that's just an observation. It's not saying that everyone's right side is going to be the better one. So starting by rooting your right foot down and then turning that left knee out to the side and letting that heel rest on the standing leg. So again, I'll say that this can be a tree pose. You can work on pressing your foot down and lifting here which will also help you with the progression of the other poses, or the other tree poses, I should say. And whenever you're ready, you can lift that left foot onto the shin. And I say the shin because a lot of times we want to avoid the knee area. And that's, and I usually say that because a lot of people don't have good balance when they first try this pose. So if you don't have good balance, I wouldn't recommend you pressing all of your weight onto your knee. And again, just playing with your arms. If you want to have it in a different position, whatever works for you. Breathe here. And then the last progression, of course, is bringing it to your inner thigh. So you may Play with rerooting that right foot down and then lifting the left foot to the inner thigh. It's still a challenge for me, so I'm going to stay at my shin. And a lot of times, if you have bigger thighs, it can be more of a challenge to get that foot to the inner thigh. And it just depends on your own flexibility. So everyone's different. And 
and release. Shake it out. And then let's go ahead and walk to the back of the mat one more time. And we're gonna do one more balance to the top of the mat. And we'll end with our three breaths there. So you can start with your hands on your hips if you like, or down by your side, whichever works for you. Shift your weight to your right foot to start. And then lift your left knee. Hold it here, breathe. Extend. Step forward. Shift your weight to your left foot this time. And we're lifting the right knee. Hold. Extend. Step forward. And just notice how your balance may have improved by working on your tree pose and from your first balance. Shift your weight to your right leg, lift the left knee. Hold, breathe. Extend. Step forward. Shift your weight to your left leg, lift the right knee up. Hold. Extend and step forward to the top of your mat. And remember, we're ending here with our three breaths. So standing in your mountain pose, hands down by your side, roll your shoulders up and back. Let's take a deep breath in together. Open the mouth and exhale. Inhale. Open the mouth and exhale. Inhale. Open the mouth and exhale. Thank you for joining me today for our balance practice. And I know that I benefit from balance because it is not one of my strong points in my yoga practice. So I hope that you are able to find some value in this balance practice. And I will see you all tomorrow for day number five of our 30-day yoga challenge.